If you spent any time on the Greenway lately, you've probably seen someone with a fishing pole. Tis the season to wet a line. But bait and lures aren't the only ways to catch fish. Fly fishing is catching on right here in the Triangle. Aaron Anderson hit the Noose River to find out what it's all about. North Carolina and Cary in particular has uh, per capita one of the greatest uh, numbers of uh, people who consider themselves fishermen. Mm -hmm. And now we're seeing a rise in people who want to become fly fishermen that. So it's just a different way to go fishing really. There's one. Oh. And much easier than it appears, according to Graham Jackson, who says you don't have to cast it like Brad Pitt to look good with a fly rod. We've made it seem like a dark art. You know, you got to sit in a, a dark room, sit bourbon, and uh, know a secret handshake in order to get on the water, and it's really not that hard. There you go, stop that rod just a little bit higher. Jackson teaches Fly Fishing 101 and has been working the Noose River for as long as he can remember. This is a great place to get started. Oh man, yeah, you've got panfish, you've got bass, crappie. Um, again, during our spring runs, you've got striper and shad that come in here. With a quick lesson, you could be making a perfect presentation and catching resident bluegill. There's one. There we go. They think they're 10 foot tall and bulletproof, and they're they're uh, gonna hit just about any fly that's out there. Uh, you don't have to be too crazy with fly selection on them. Going out with light tackle, uh, those fish makes you know a one pound bluegill feel like a 10 pound catfish. It's just a lot of fun. Speaking of tackle, you're gonna need a whole new setup, but it doesn't have to sink your wallet. Just like any hobby, you can make it uh, as simple or as complicated as you want. To. If you're a gearhead, we have rods uh, combos that go, you know, up to $1,500. But a good setup that's going to get anybody on the water, you can get it for just over 300 bucks. A word to the wise: yeah. it's easy to get hooked. Reporting from the Noose River, I'm Aaron Anderson for Sunday Night Overtime. Yeah, I chatted with Aaron earlier today, and he swore up and down that he caught a few fish that day, but we didn't see any in the story. And more importantly, I never received an invite to the fish fry, so I'm not sure it actually happened. But what I do know for sure is that Graham and a few of his co-workers host fly fishing lessons at Orvis every weekend this summer. Feel free to check out their website for those details, and if you're having a fish fry, well, be sure to send an invitation my way.